What's up, my love bugs and love my This is Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. I am here going to make a smoothie, and um, got my hair gym ready, y'all, because as y'all know, the gyms are back open, and I ain't going to no Planet Fitness. I'm walking myself right downstairs in my basement, and if I don't, I'm going across the street to the fitness center inside the complex where we uh, are. But anyway, I'm going to make up before you a smoothie that y'all I'm telling y'all I had no plans I had no plans for what to put in this smoothie so I'm just playing it by sight you know what I'm saying and that's what I'm gonna go by and um shouldn't be talking to y'all while I'm rinsing this off but yeah and also I'm going by way of fresh fruits this time instead of frozen fruits which I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with frozen fruits because on most of your frozen fruit packages says um like Nutribullet ready not Nutribullet ready but you know juice or, or smoothie ready basically and that's good because you don't have to add the ice but you know certain sometimes uh, um the vegetables i mean fruits that they have inside the smoothies um, for the frozen fruit, they don't have all the fruits. Like they don't have um, frozen green apples. I haven't seen that. So if y'all, if y'all know, I got to make some Granny Smith apples. I'm gonna be using some pineapples, blueberries. I may add a few strawberries in it, and uh, I'm gonna put some spinach. So I'm gonna let y'all see how the smoothie turns out, and um, as well as the fitness, you know, thing goes on but yeah so stay tuned okay so i'm gonna be slicing up this pineapple this is my favorite nice knife to use it's got the ridges in it yeah um yeah i always start off by cutting the ponytail off that's what i call it and i slice around this pineapple like i try to go by the shape let my knife just glide down around it, kind of, sort of. I'm going to go back and get it because I don't like all that on there. That's ugly. I'm glad my daddy not here because he'd be like, you hey, cutting all the meat off of that. Look at all that meat you cut, you're cutting off of that. He used to always get on me the way I sliced potatoes. <laughs> and boy, I was so glad when they came out with a potato slicer. Cause boy, he sure would get on me about how I would cut all that meat off that potato. I, I slices it off like that, you all, because I don't like, like I said, the little stuff to be on it. Yucky. So ugly. So, yeah, it looks like I'm wasting a lot of, let me get this off of here. Wasting a lot of pineapple, actually, but I'm not. Yeah, um, just want to go and clean it up a little bit. Okay, that's why I buy more than one also. Because I know I'm going to do this. So, all this little... What's on here? I don't like... I don't like that. Yeah. I'm not eating it. <laughs> okay. So... I usually do this because I know that there's a core in the middle of that. And so we don't have to deal with that. Let's see. Right in, right in there. And we know it's still in there. But we know the core is like in the middle, of it, like I said. It's a core. And I just take and slice. After I slice, of course I wash. Wash all my foods. Wash all your meats. Uh, I think the only meat I do not wash though is hamburger, cause that's kind of odd. But bacteria kills, yeah. That's your germs on your meat, so I ain't worried about that. But my fruits and my vegetables, everything I cut is always, always washed. So. And it's nice and cut up. There's a little funny filling over here on this side I don't like. So I'm gonna take that off and uh, slice these up. Of course, all, all of these I am not using. I'm gonna put them 
and a Tupperware bowl, and they're going to be um, placed in the refrigerator as I make up these smoothies. Um, no, let me put this apple here. Uh oh, carefree. Now my blueberries are fresh, so there are I don't have to cut up anything with that blueberry. Somebody also told me to put the apple core in there. I don't think so. I don't know about that. Put an apple core in this. I think this, this smoothie gonna be pretty good, being that you know these Granny Smith apples is good. You know my hands are slippery off from the. Uh, I'm gonna leave the skin on it. Somebody said the skin has a lot of nutrients in it. Vitamins, I guess. So I'm gonna leave the skin on it. You ain't gonna be able to taste none of that anyway. Yeah. I'm hurrying it up, y'all, because I'm kinda hungry. Plus, I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so. And those are my kids. I know that's Tina and Terrell over there with the grand, with their dad. Those are my cut up Granny Smith apples. Okay, so I'm back you all. I had to go ahead and buy this being fresh fruit. I had to add some ice. So I went on and crushed the ice up already just so I can have some room up in here because I'm gonna put a little spinach in it. And boy, I'm gonna be like I'm piling this in here, but oh well, I might have to blend and come back. I'm gonna put me some blueberries. This, this, oh my God. This blueberries, a couple of strawberries. I'm gonna put some, I love pineapples. I'm gonna put three pineapples in it and and I'm sorry, I'm putting four, I lied. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna push that down. I'm gonna get me some apple. I still gotta fill it to my water level, y'all. Don't look like much, does it? Really doesn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna compact this thing today. I really like these, though. Oh my God, I love pineapples. They're so good. And... I think a Granny Smith apple that might be kind of pushing it, but oh well, I'm gonna push it on down in there because I know my Nutribullet, it works. Okay. I wanna bite into that fruit so bad, y'all. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. This is how it looks. Like, what's all those little gritties in it? Well, that's the way I like it, you know. It's got strawberry. Mm -mm. It's sweet. It's a little on the loosey side because I wanted it like that. Usually I have my smoothies thicker. Um, but I wanted to get most of the ingredients out of it, being that this is my 10 day, 10 day detox different types of smoothies i'll be trying some will be more smoothier when i go throughout the video and stuff like that but i can taste the pineapple in it definitely the granny smith green apple um i never taste spinach in my stuff because a lot of people are like oh you put spinach in it you know i never taste the spinach in it um I, I could tell I could taste a little bites of the strawberries the little things that me and the strawberries um, but mainly pineapple and um, the granny smith apple I taste in it and um I got blueberry and strawberries in it that's pretty good that's pretty good y'all mm. anyway I feel a lot better in my body, but what's going on is um, yesterday I went and had all my blood work done because they ready to do the um, breast reduction right away. They want to do it. Um, they asking me like, "Are you ready?" Like we got the schedule. I'm like, "I hold up. I ain't even got, I ain't even got my mammogram." You know, they waiting on a 
mammogram, but my doctor's office said to me yesterday when I went to go see him, they was like, well, the surgeon already sent the stuff over. So, you know, are you ready to go on surgery? Do we have a date here? It's predicated on you. So I'm like, well, no, they said that they would call me because they was waiting for somebody to call and schedule me a mammogram. So I'm gonna have to call and schedule my mammogram. Actually, it started a referral, already a referral in my records for me to have a mammogram. So after that's done, you know, we ready to go. And I trust God. I trust God throughout this process. I trust and know that he's going to keep me. Um, also, I made an appointment for a vein specialist. Uh, I have vein, deep vein thrombosis, which means I have uh, sometimes blocked veins. Um, it runs in my family. That's that Italian side with them veins. My grandmother had that vein problem, you know. And um, so I have veins like around my ankles or whatever. So I'm seeing a specialist, vein specialist tomorrow about having them removed. So I'm getting that out the way. My doctor also, uh, yesterday, she referred me to a nutritionist and um, she said that she thinks that that can help me a lot to add to what I'm doing. So I'm following up with that. Um, I had not yet made an appointment with the nutritionist yet, but I'm don't want to overwhelm myself even though I'm trying to get everything together as much as possible you know um because after this you know they want to schedule me for colonoscopy colonoscopy uh, um a pap smear this is just stuff I need to be doing had had done at age 50 so this is what I'm doing so far my panels my uh, blood work that I had done yesterday came back great um, guess what y'all? I was taking metformin pills for diabetes, pre-diabetic. Come to find out, they checked my panels and they're like, you can stop taking the metformin. Um, you're not diabetic. You're not pre-diabetic. So you could just continue the metformin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm sitting up here like, why am I taking, and, and, and what's crazy is, this is how I know that my life is being led by God. I never took them pills. I was half taken. I'm like, I don't even feel like I have a need. I'm nothing wrong with me. I don't feel that, you know? So it's like I was never taking this, these metformin pills. Only reason why I would have the shakes is because I found out that I would have the shakes after I would drink caffeine coffee. I cannot have coffee with caffeine. So I'm a decaf coffee drinker. I will not drink caffeine. I will have the shakes. It messes with my sugar level. It causes my sugar level to drop. I don't know why, but it always did. So when I left it alone, I, I, I noticed that I never had those problems anymore. So the discontinue that. Thank you, Jesus. And um, she was saying cholesterol level, um, everything looks good or whatever. Continue to do what I'm doing. Stay away from red meats, fried foods. She did tell me it was okay for peanut oil. I said, I fried my chicken in peanut oil. She said, nothing, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. She said that peanut oil was good. So I'm clear on that. I had to ask that question because I'm like, no way I'm about to pass up this, this, this chicken and this fish tasting so good. And this peanut oil. So, so that's out the way. Um, it's just a lot of good news that, you know, I'm trying to get Tina and Terrell on this track with me. I'm trying to pull them along. And I can't force Tina and Terrell to eat what I eat. I don't force them to, to do anything. All I can do is encourage them, show them, tease them a little bit, you know, when they see me coming down and stuff, like, oh, get on me. Y'all gonna be, y'all ain't gonna look like me if y'all keep on going, you know. But I can do things like that. But to force them and say, well, I'm cooking this and that's bad for them and all this type of stuff. Tina and Terrell, 17, 18 years old, they know what's good for them and what's not. And they also know to do what I'm doing. They can grab that fruit and use that Nutribullet just like I can. They can come in here and make a salad and chop it up just like I can. But Tina and Terrell want what they want. And they spend their money on what they spend their money on. So that's not my fault. Like I said, all I can do is encourage them. Okay. With that being said, I got on my t-shirt to say uh, the planet. Planet Fitness t-shirt or whatever because the gyms open back up today like I was telling y'all earlier I will be on that um the treadmill I'm gonna put some exercise with this 10-day detox because I feel like I won't be as weak because it's a lot of fruit and vegetables going on so I'm gonna be good so follow me along y'all this is this is day one of the detox um and needs to be drunken through you know like breakfast lunch and dinner and a snack whatever 
Um, I just wanted to say this. My 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 um, ex-husband's father passed away, and Tina and Terrell is visiting with their dad. I just wanted to say y'all have my condolences to the Stewart family. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, anytime, anywhere, when trouble comes, we there. Put it like that. If you need us, we're there. You know, family is family, regardless of um, situations. I said we even had any with the Stewarts. I haven't with the Stewarts, but um, situations occurred. Just want to let you know that you do have our deepest condolences and. By them being my children's grandfather or whatever, I'm going to make sure that they're there front and center, especially for their father when their father needs them right now. So I just wanted to say that um, life is too short, you all. And um, 2020, a lot of people have left here. And you thank God, like I thank God, that you still have your life. Thank God that you still here and able to watch this video. You know, count yourself blessed because you, you're you still amongst the land of the living, meaning that you have another chance to get yourself right because we all leaving here one day. We don't know the time or the hour of the day, but just make sure that whenever you work your own soul salvation out <clears throat> with fear and trembling, make sure it's together. If you do wrong, repent, ask God to forgive you. Don't do it no more and move on. Live saved all you know how. Pray all you know how to pray. It's not all about a um, fancy prayer. It's not all about, I can't use those big words when I pray. No, you, it's okay. It's not about that. Um, it's about the words meaning being sincere and coming from your heart. And that's what God hears and you Pray all you know how. Live all you know how. Do good all you know how to do. Live, do somebody, treat somebody like you know it's your last day on earth. Treat somebody like you know you're going to be up out of here at 10 p.m. You get up at 8, 8 a.m. or uh, whatever time you get up and you, you, you follow that day. You treat somebody right. Live right as if you know that you're leaving here at 10 p.m. and you, you go, you're going to make it through heaven. You want to get through them doors. That's how we are to live day by day. With repentive lives, holy lives, you know, not to say that, um, well, you, y'all know all that, but nobody's perfect, but, but we strive to be, you know, just because ain't nobody perfect don't mean it's all right. It's all right. Ain't nobody perfect, but that don't make it all right, but you still strive to be. So I just wanted to say that y'all and, um, follow me, like I said, on this 10 day journey and, um, I'm taking everything y'all saying in consideration. Kamisha Moore. I have yet to go to the store. I'm on my way this afternoon to get the rest of those uh, ingredients that you had for that juice detox because I am going to use that as well. I want y'all to be blessed, be encouraged. Follow me along this journey. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you, uh, uh, my supporters, for all y'all love and encouragement and y'all go and y'all push. I just want y'all to know it's really helping me go forth and do this. Because of y'all. I just want to thank you very much. God bless you all. Peace out in Jesus name.